Yeah, I, I'm too young for philosophy. Ah, man, it's not... You are my eyes, bird. I'm gonna take this. Okay, yeah. It seems, then, that all of you are stepping away from question one. I have no idea. Wait. I've been in here a few times. Okay, we can spread out through here. Cover the ma- Yeah, we need to cover the max, uh, terrain that we can. Yeah, a lot of these no-clip structures, sure. you want to check. Let's, let's see. Oh, over here, yeah. Oh, nothing. Ooh, all these objects you can just walk right into. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, we're uh, looking the for pumpkin. the, uh, the pumpkin. Ah. The pumpkin, whatever, the, the, we're chasing uh, the pumpkin. It could be they're all from yep. the docks, though. It's a uh, very open one, uh, a yeah, very open again, uh, uh, place. I don't think Let's enough. check the fields first. Let's check yeah, the fields. Yeah, go ahead and head back. We'll sweep back to the fields. Because it's already been a minute. Where to go. We're just looking for the guy holding the pumpkin. Nope, I didn't. I didn't. The pumpkin doesn't tell me where it is. I will kill you. <laughs> uh, what, what time are we at? We have three and a half minutes. Oh no. Oh yeah. Although the fastest way to get to the fields would be... No jump. I won't do it. Oh, I found it. And suggest perhaps... No, I didn't. It was a lie. You Wait, did they lie. get him? Did they get it already? Wishes! Wishes! I think I got it. What the consequences of such drastic action will be. Come on, guys. Wow. We got him. Oh. oh Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, don't step on the rig. Ladies I get and gentlemen, flung around that. We got him. Uh, FBI, open up! Shashamgar. I never thought I'd hear what the... Who do you work for? Two minutes of... Who do you work for? Thanks for thanks for the invite back. My VR there crashed. You. Nice and snug. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I know my left hand's about to die. Oh. I think that's everybody. Wait, if I open that, I can uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, ten. ten. Yeah, we're all over here. Well done, friends. <laughs> I pound. You remaining. have captured the jack o' lantern in oh. record time in history oh, was, of VR no, it, travelers. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was on me. So it was. It was uh, Fryzo. It was more Fryzo's oh, work than I. Where were they? Fryzo, is this your first time playing on the appraiser quest? Uh, it is. I, I just looked around, found the tree, saw a slight pixel of uh, cornflake, and chased him. Well done. You have made record time for this. Quest. Speed run. Speed is key. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you very much. All right. Now, Cornflake, please take the jack o' lantern. <laughs> you have a 30 second head start starting now. Go. Everyone else, please grab a pumpkin and. Shout some awesome obscenities to the pumpkin while we wait. I'm just gonna lay down. Uh, I'm gonna call you uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm love you to the grave you die. You're okay. such a good person. According, according to all known laws of evolution, there's no way we should be able to fly. Oh my god, who's been fighting the bee? The bee, of course, oh, flies yeah. anyway. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Please, some this pumpkin is very round. I know that everyone likes him. He's getting beat up by a pumpkin. Very round. Eight. Oh, you're having a nice time. Six. Four. Two. You. Beautiful pumpkin. One. Sally Forth. 
My eyes are on fire. Sorry. I can find them. I don't know. I'm second field. He's flying, cheating. <laughs> I feel new. Run, fly! No, no, no jumping! No jumping! Oh, no jumping! No, no flying either! Oh, yeah, we can't do that. No, 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 it's just out of reach! Fuck! One right. Oh, I can't. Frick. Cut him off! 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 Fuck! Oh, he's, <laughs> he's joking the shit out of us! This pumpkin is fucking fucked! Go this way, go this way! Oh, wait, oh! <laughs> go the other side. Go the other side. Don't go in the water. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait, I can't climb! Okay, wait. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Get him! Get him! Come on, come on. I hit my chair. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it. We should stop flying. Ah, the four minute timer is up! Shit. This is like a minute left for me. I'm gonna go up this hill. FAST! <laughs> we have only a minute! Let's go! 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 That was super not cool, my dude. That wasn't very cash money. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. I would say that is uh not allowed. Yeah. E Friend. The act of flight. Put disease. it on your desk. Were any rolls broken? Yes. <laughs> One of them. Yep. He fly. He fly. We tried to I'm get sorry. him to stop, but he kept going. The person who yeah, captured the jack o' lantern he... flew? Yes. Exactly. I picked it up from him, though. Ah. I see. Well. With so many. witnesses, I'm afraid that that would be a disqualification. Oh, fuck. Me. God damn it. Better than winning unfairly. Exactly. Uh, that's true. the spirit. Are you sure it was blatant flying and not just a double hop or jumping off something? It, it was uh, yeah. It, it was fly. It was too high. He was like yeah, he was like fifteen feet, feet up in the, the air. Yeah.
Ah, I see. Well, better luck next time. No worries. Don't feel bad wishes. Feel bad wishes. No, don't oh. feel bad wishes. Do not no feel rough. bad. Go to sleep tonight <laughs> knowing that you did this. <laughs> Stop. Mm. Cannot sleep. Let's see. Let in me front ask of my fellow tour guide how much time we have left. Just a moment. Ah, true. I'm sorry. I will repent for my sins by spinning. I'm sorry, I love you. Please do praise the hypercube. Praise the hypercube. Now your sins have been cleared. Hell yeah, boy. What are these dances I've got on this avatar? I don't know. No, Basil, stop ah. doing that dance. You're not allowed to. All right, friends. We can do a redo. We still have time. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah boy! Cornflake, grab the jack-o'-lantern and go! Start time, start the time! Michael what do we say to the pumpkins now? 30 seconds. I closed the window with my timer. Why you're such you're a good person. You're the most person. beautiful thing I have ever you're seen in my entire life. You're the most beautiful person that I've ever seen. I'm clicking with buttons. Please do not change the pumpkin. I'm pretty sure that your family loves you and you're probably in a very good place. You're probably a person of high upstanding in society. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't know though. Probably have good I bet brains. you wouldn't abandon I all of your friends. I think we should stand. stand. We we ruined ruined everything for everybody else. For this challenge. Pumpkin. You have a nice long stem. Hey, I be nice. What God has bestowed upon you. Friends, <laughs> don't worry. It's <laughs> easy to forget the rules and the excitement. In fact, I'm glad that they did that because it means they were caught in the moment. My friends. Forgiveness is the key to forever. Time is up. Go, go, go. Yeehaw! Let's go, let's go. Timer is starting. Yeah, Throw the timer. Yeah, go. All right. Everyone come back, we got him! We got him, boys! Oh. Alright. That was a... That was like a... Yay. Pumpkin. Our savior. Damn, this avatar is slow, dude. Pumpkin. Yeah, I think we got him. Take the pumpkin as a sacrificial vessel. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, God. Four, God. Five, like Cinderella, five, 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 five. Oh, we got a pass mode. Okay. Bippity bop. Let's go. I have a bit of my. Good job. 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 Good job.
Well done, friends. Just for you. All right. It looks like most everyone is here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then Green Grunt is twelve. Yes, I believe we're all here. My friends, you've done quite well. The appraiser. Cornflake, we are now resuming on the script. The appraiser manages to catch the sentient jack-o'-lantern and brings it back to the pumpkin ear. Oh, thank goodness. You're okay, Jackie. I thought I lost my only family. Family? I thought I was just ticket. I thought I was just your ticket to fame. I ain't no cash cow. Cash cow? <laughs> of course not, Jackie. You are my family. This village is our family. I want you to be part of it with me. In an emotional embrace, the pumpkin ear is united with his creation. He says he will honor his promise to help the appraiser and go with her to the time tree. My friends, well done. This quest is passed. This way. While we walk to the time tree, please sing a celebratory sea shanty. Thank you. Farewell oh, and adieu uh, to you, you fair Spanish two. ladies. Farewell oh, and adieu. Oh, What's the Fortnite one? The sea, the name of the ship, put the sail to old England. The silly is the divine. Surrounding the morning. No, we only know so many. What happened over there? Don't ask questions. Everything is fine. Did we succeed, by the way? Pumpkin, that's all you need to know. We failed. Thank you, your gracious uh, hypercubeness for giving us Wait, a what? second yeah, chance. Nothing. We failed? No. Wait, did you fail, Geo? Nothing. No, we won. Oh, oh Pug. Yeah, uh, we failed, called. but then we won. Somebody's bonding <laughs> heaven already. <laughs> I know, I did it. We had, we had, a, we had a, re uh, a redo because yeah. of uh, flight. Oh, yeah, because I someone decided. Yeah, my friends, you. my friends, gather around. I wasn't going to name names. Gather around. The story will soon conclude. Now, I ask those that followed me to gather the ether infuser. Has the ether infuser, the pumpkin ear, joined the appraiser back to the time tree? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. 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 <laughs> but then he After did. much deliberation. <laughs> well yes, done. Yes, yes. Now I ask I all off. of you that chose to find the ether. Engraver. The ether engraver. Has the Ether Engraver joined the appraiser back to the time tree? Yes, he has. Yes, he yep. has. Yes, sir. Goodness gracious me. My friends, well done. Well then, this way. Alright, so those of you who went on the painter just yesterday... <laughs> Seat you're, you're in for a fun treat. Oh, this is, uh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I know. You will. Coffee, I'm hiding behind. Time to die. There was already some oh, links to the painter already. You have a similar team. I protect you. It's fine. My friends, thank you for coming this far. At this time. You bastard. Please go to your settings menu and turn off the world music. I repeat, go to your settings menu and set the world music to zero. I came at the perfect time, Jake. But what if we don't? There's, I, I turned it off and all of a sudden I'm depressed. There's just no sound. <laughs> Mood. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, deafening silence. I'll just kill the mood. 
the appraiser returns to the time tree with both the artisan and the pumpkineer. The holy knight notices and welcomes them all with a serious face. This person here is the pumpkineer. He is a powerful infuser and ether mage, strongest in the land. And this person here is the artisan. He is an expert engraver and master artist. Excellent. Artisan, sir. Mr. Pumpkineer. I put my trust in you both. I trust the appraiser has told you the important nature of the task at hand. Well, let's get to work. Mr. Appraiser, please hold the ether crystal. I must enter into prayer. The Holy Knight hands the appraiser the ether crystal, and for the first time she sees it up close. It is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it, her mind seeming to forget her limbs. What sort of prayer should I do while they work? One of God's temperance or of God's courage? Uh, huh? Uh, no, not to God. You are willing to try something not normally done by the Nissan sect, correct? Instead, pray to your most innermost thoughts and feelings. Yo. The, ho the Holy Knight Yo. quickly changes his expression to one of disbelief. You recite the words of the old teachings, teachings done away with, almost forgotten. Who are you? Is she her? The, the appraiser is not listening. Now she is focused on the purple crystal in her hands. The artisan, now holding the holy sword, asks if he may begin. The knight of Nissan nods. The artisan works with quick, sharp movements. His eyes close every few moments as his hands stop moving. Each time this happens, his engraving tool glows bright with heat ether. The Holy Knight watches between prayer verses and thinks to himself that this man works truly like an artist, treating his blade like a delicate tapestry. Time passes in silence. Finally, the artisan is finished. The markings are strong, ready to be infused. The Holy Knight observes and quietly tells the Pumpkineer it is now time, it is now his time to infuse the markings on the blade. The Pumpkineer takes the ether crystal from the unresponsive appraiser and gives and grips it with one hand while placing the other on the Holy Sword. He stares at the time tree for a moment, furrows his brow in confusion, and gives a demissive dismissive expression while closing his eyes. Now off to the side, the artisan watches silently. After a while, he turns to look at the appraiser. His hands twitch. A slow wind begins to build. The artisan and the appraiser trade glances mutually wondering why this feels so tense. Again, they nervously look to the crystal. Its purple surface is reflected in the appraiser's eyes, its dark core growing more opaque. Appearing to her, a scene plays within. A massive airship flies over a sky filled with fire. Flashes of light are bursting in the air all around the vessel. Below, a man stands on a cobblestone street surrounded with people screaming and running in terror. Ignoring the panic, the man watches the airship in the sky. He watches it collide with a structure. A structure not connected to the ground, yet filling the entire horizon. 
The man winces in pain and anger as an ignited sky is reflected in his eyes. The man in the scene, now standing under a firestorm of falling wreckage, slowly turns his head toward. Miss Appraiser, is everything all right? Ah, oh, it seems we are finished. What fine work. Hand me the blade. Oh, yes. Look at this. What power. I can understand why my oaths were written as they are. Though I have broken those oaths, I will not break another. Miss Appraiser, please take this strange crystal so I may retain some honor. This is was our deal. Well then, please excuse my abrupt departure, but I must seek out my squire and journey to the southern regions. As the Holy Knight unceremoniously walks away, the appraiser is somewhat stunned, and with a blank expression places the crystal in her backpack. She stares toward the tree, as the pumpkin air quietly stands and bids farewell to the remaining two. You... you saw it, too, didn't you? I... I did. I did. Can we go somewhere else to talk? Somewhere away from this tree? With the ether crystal now in her possession, the appraiser follows the artisan to his village home. My friends, this way. I'm just getting started. Ah, uh, na na ni na na, I remember those words. Are they the painter and the... Don't remember more words, too. She Sophia, isn't it? Like, I remember those the words Cartier you're saying. Sophia, so this isn't good. <laughs> She's uh, Mother Sophia. Oh, well, no. Y'all remember uh, yesterday they said uh, that they were both hmm? reincarnated. Get ready to get cut. Yes, but they said um. that we were following the villain the whole time. And the, yeah, and then the painter got cut. Mm -hmm. Way to go on back, Lily. I'm on a pad thing. Maybe this is oh, the one that not that today. That guy, right? Right. This is the good Maybe one. The oh. is the cut. Nice. Or like the dude who does that. Fucking <sighs> armor dying. Remember, he got cucked by himself, though. Imagine getting cucked by yourself. That's tough. I, I do it every day. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> My condolences. The artisan opens the door <laughs> and welcomes her in. <laughs> she looks around, noticing the many engraving tools and sculptures displayed. She then notices a set of papers on a table with a familiar sketched design. She takes one of the papers and finds a seat. These are the plans for the engravings you do. When they are drawn like this in a line, it almost looks like a line of text. Why do you think engravings allow ether to be infused into things? Are they symbols of some sort of language? No, I don't think so. They are more like drawings to me. But that thought has crossed my mind. The Pumpkineer is able to use the shadows of a lit jack-o'-lantern as a second set of engravings in light. This, somehow, allows consciousness to emerge in his pumpkins. I suspect it's like giving speaking lines to the ether he infuses inside. Now that I think about it, this is... Probably why he could not control it. It was an expression of his inner self, manifested, that he likely does not yet understand. Hmm. 
how insightful. But looking here, is your work any different? Your sculptures here are just expressions of yourself. If they could talk, they might say something you don't know about yourself as well. I suppose, but I don't do infusing work. Didn't you want to talk about the vision? Yes, actually. I think that is how the crystal gave us a vision. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, I wonder if you could create a piece of art that you could interact with. Like a song that holds specific memories, a painting that holds a single person's ether, or even a story that you can live inside. I, I don't see how any of that is connected to the question you ask me. To me, ether is just lingering emotions in the air. I express myself through art. Infusing art would just cause the emotions you put in to linger there. You're not wrong, but... Okay, then how about you make a sculpture of me? I want to see if you are right. And, uh, and to test something. Uh, oh, I don't have the necessary stock of marble. I always run out by the time harvest starts. The appraiser looks around and sees an untouched block of gray marble by the window. I... What about that? Right there. Oh, there is that, but... Don't you know how long it takes to actually carve a sculpture? You have to continue on your journey soon, don't you? Okay, then how about a painting? That shouldn't take long, right? A painting? Uh, I can't remember the last time I painted. I don't have the correct pigments. Specifically the one I would use for your hair. It's from a flower not found in this region, so I... I don't like where this is going. The artisan stops uh, and realizes uh, what he said. He looks at the appraiser. Her expression is of a comforting smile. Eyes motioning for him to look behind him. There in the corner, by the opposite window, is a blank canvas and several small buckets of paint. No. Oh. You know... You know those weren't there a moment ago, don't you? I didn't do it this time. This time it was you. What else are we not telling each other, Mr. <laughs> you know... You know exactly what is going on here, don't you? It's like... It's like I remember something that hasn't happened yet. And I imagine a different outcome, and the necessary changes, suddenly, are there for that future to actually become real. Miss Appraiser, you have been playing dumb about several things, I can tell, and you knew that I knew you were coming to Eternic Village. The appraiser nods. And you knew that I know I've been waiting for you. Appraiser us? Waiting? Waiting for me so you can finish the painting, right? I... <laughs> if you... If you are living with this strange gift, how... how are you so hopeful? Don't you feel like you are not in control? 
Don't you feel like you're at the mercy of higher powers? Why does this not disturb you? The crystals. They hold the clues to it all. To other worlds. Each one gives a vision to a place I know, but I've never been to. It's like a piece of a puzzle. My past seems to change with this power we share, and I... And I have no way of going back to see what was real. But the visions... The visions in the crystals, they are real. I know this now because when we were near that tree... It, that tree... It must be a natural ether amplifier. Wait, wait. They show us a past we can't rewrite with this power? How do you know? Have you tested? Yes, actually. No matter how much I change my past, the memory of the vision remains. The crystals are like a rendezvous of other worlds and uncertain fate. That was not the first vision I saw in a crystal. And just like the first time, I could taste the ether of many people around us right now. This time, however, thanks to that tree, I could feel that they are in fact watching us. I, I don't think we are alone, Mr. Artisan. The two talk for a long while. The evening approaches, and the artisan walks with the appraiser to see her out of the village. My friends, please ensure your world music is still turned off. This way. Oh. I need everything. Yo! Yo! I'm gonna need the... Everyone who's at the painter yesterday... Damn, barrels. Out of my way. Hello there. Hello. Buenos dias. I just wanted to say hi to Pebs. Yes. Hi. Hi, Wait, is this the end? I fucking missed the train. This is the end. One, it's 12.56 a.m. for me, and my mom says I have to go pick up groceries tomorrow. No worries. There bro. I go. Good night. We will anyway, it was all fun. Love y'all. <laughs> You're all good my night. best friends. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, man. Good night. Have a good one. Love you too, always good forever. Night. Good night. Yep, always friends for our <laughs> <Good> night. <laughs> so wholesome. <laughs> my friends, the story continues. Now, late evening, at the outskirts of Eternic, the appraiser stops and looks at the darkening sky, noticing a red moon. Rising on the horizon. Where are you going to travel next? And why don't you travel during the day? Uh, I can't sleep near that tree. And I want to find the place we saw in the ether crystal. The place with history we can't change. If you're so worried, then you should join me, Mr. Artisan. But, but what about the vision of the man under the 
the sky of fire. He never saw what happened to him. You're worried? About where we're going? Okay. Well, let's have a look again for a clue. The artisan gives a worried expression. But the appraiser explains that they are away far enough from the tree, so it should be safe. She takes the ether crystal out of her pack, holding it in her hand now. She looks into one of the sides of its purple flat surface. The artisan cautiously looks from a distance. The glare of the sunset quickly vanishes, and he sees a dimly lit cathedral interior. He hears a choir. What? He hears the song, and he sees a man running. The appraiser looks deep into the crystal. She sees a room, a sunlit room. There is a canvas and a woman dressed in religious <laughs> garb, sitting with her back turned to the appraiser. The man the artisan sees is frantically making his way across the balcony. The man looks to the left as he rushes, and the artisan feels a twinge of pain in his mind, a mimetic weight causing him to look away. The appraiser can't see the canvas or the woman's face. So she turns the crystal in her hands to look through another side. Through the next surface, she hears the song, and she sees him. The room is now empty. The canvas gone. The woman gone. The portrait hung on the wall. And the man, now not looking at the walls around him, but now staring through a forbidden window, directly at the appraiser. Sophia. Oh. No. The appraiser no, 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 no. grips the crystal in her hands, paralyzed, unable to move. Blossoms, oh fallen sea. And draw upon thy hidden powers. It's him. Quickly, look away. Grant unto me the glorious power of the Titan of Destruction. Just then, a bolt of ether ignites between the crystal and the appraiser. Her arms drop, the crystal now suspended by its ohm, the bright bolt coming from her eyes, and between it, she screams. The crystal darkens to a black void. He's going... He's going to rewind it all! My friends, this is it. This is the ending you seek. This is the power of your will. The appraiser sees you. The artisan hears you. He reaches for the appraiser's merchant pack. He thrusts his hands inside for... For anything, his eyes closed, grappling probability. He wishes for anything that will stop the force from the dark ether crystal. My friends, what does the artisan wish for he pulls out of the appraiser's bag? You have 60 seconds to decide. A light ether Everyone, crystal? I, just I know the answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> we've tried multiple things, and we believe we've tried multiple things. Is it a feather? Correct answer. It isn't a feather. We've yet to try this. Oh, man. We've tried a hammer. We've tried wood. All right. The, uh, gauntlet. We've yet to try the sword. It, but... Not yet. Blue shade, what is it? We haven't tried it, is it? The BFG. I think it's time to give the artisan a little gift of our own. Nay, nay. Bring it back from Sheen, I want to give the artisan the ether crystal that VR travelers have in their possession. Oh, 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 oh. 
Nay, nay. <laughs> Foolish mortal, oh, no. you know not what you do. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? Please tell me we did not just pull a that, The last of time power that I heard that, guy's backpack. it was the correct was answer. Right after yeah. the riddle. Oh, the fuck. riddle. <laughs> the painter riddle. I have faith in you. I'm scared. The rat offers you a I rock. You a little. My friend, <laughs> you still have 30 seconds. Does anyone disagree with this answer? No. Let's do it. Just want to let you know. Let's do it. Risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. We're all coming out of Risk it for the biscuit. Grab his dick. I want a biscuit. I want a biscuit. Twist it. The weight of this universe is on Lucian's so shoulders. As usual. It has also been passed through hands many times. <laughs> I'm a sock so it's nice to be honest. My friends, the story continues. The artisan, with his hand in the bag, tears in his eyes, with electricity around him. He searches and searches his hand within, not finding anything. He looks up. He sees the appraiser, screaming, electrocuted her hair, levitating in the air as the crystal embraces her in darkness. He begins to say, this is not it. What do I do? What do I do? And then he hears the voices. He hears the voices. A gift they offer. A gift from a world he can't explain above him. He looks up as he listens, not knowing which direction, why it makes sense. And he understands. He sees it. He sees a crystal. The appraiser shrieks in pain, and the artisan feels the answer materialize in his hand. A yellow crystal is pulled from the merchant pack, glowing bright light. The artisan holds it up, and he begs for a way to make this end, for the crystal to help him, for the voices he heard to do something. Lightning flies out of the crystal and collides with the pit of darkness in front of the appraiser. Everything goes white. The artisan opens his eyes. His vision returns. He's on the ground. He stands up. And he sees a broken purple crystal still floating in the air. He sees the appraiser released on the ground, not moving. Suddenly, engravings appear on the dark crystal surface. The engravings begin to distort, stretching to the edges of the crystal, until its shape deforms to accommodate. The crystal appears to fold in on itself, in the form of a cube, an oscillating, impossible shape. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was lost to stories and time? Did you think endings are written before they are? 
This is not your story. The oscillating structure abruptly erupts with a cloud of blood red ether spilling out everywhere, covering the ground and soon the appraiser. The appraiser shuts her eyes as the red smoke covers her. She sees it in her mind and she tries her hardest to think of another color, another emotion. Surely she was so close. The wrong one. Now, spreading too quickly to evade, the red cloud reaches the artisan and in an instant turns pitch black and covers the village. And silently, the world, as the last remnant of her mind fades to darkness, the innocent appraiser manages a single thought. Hope. The end. Oh my god! What? Trajan fucking what? Right? Yo. Oh. That didn't work! So we need a work here, man. Yeah. We need a different crystal. Oh, that's great. Ooh, uh, wrong illusion. <laughs> right track, wrong color. I'm sorry, but who is Abe? I mean, it seemed pretty obvious. <laughs> but whatever. And then Abel. My friends. Oh, Abel. Wow. My friends. Congratulations. You have reached the end of the tour and unlocked Bad Ending D. Well done. Bad Ending D. Okay. New ending. D for dead. Wait for E. D for dead. I thought I would have gotten a good ending considering the pumpkins. I thought the, no, the pumpkins. I thought the pumpkins were going to lead us to the good ending. My friends, before I say another word, please put your hands together for my team, Trey Jim, and my NPCs, Cornflake and Lucian. Yay! for me, mortals! This was fucking amazing. Yeehaw. Once again, another absolutely amazing experience. My friends, well done. We are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. Not to mention sometimes embarrassing voice acting. We do this for fun. We do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. My friends, please join our growing Discord community and post your photos and comments from today's tour. There, you can discuss the alternate endings to our tours, the secrets of our headquarters, and other mysteries. The Discord server ID is my status in VRChat. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 per month. Joining grants you access to clues to all our mysteries, behind-the-scenes features, eligibility to play as character roles in our tours, such as the NPCs today, and the private Discord channel. Another perk is you get... Another perk you get is being able to participate in a community-written tour, or the CWT for short. The CWT is a project where this community is creating a tour with everyone's combined efforts. A writing project of love and unity. My friends, I will now open the floor to you all for questions, but one more final announcement before that happens. Our community is so incredibly wholesome and they have a special announcement today working together they've done something for all of you newcomers and all of the veterans together 
I believe this project is headed by Geo. Geo, would you like to take the floor for a minute? Yes, I would. All right, uh, hi everyone. I'm Geo Nexus, and uh, I have a, an announcement. <clears throat> I, alongside other members of the VR Travelers community, am proud to finally present to you the unofficial Traveler's Handbook. This handbook contains info related to VR travelers, especially about the tours themselves and the lore of our beloved tour guides. It's a great way to catch up on all the events that occurred up until now for newcomers, while also being a nice opportunity for veterans to reminisce about what we have done. We will be publishing version 1.0.0 in the Traveler's Chat in the Discord. This means that we will be updating the document in the future to ensure that it remains relevant. This project showcases yet another time this wonderful community has come together to create something. We hope you enjoy our work. Oh, and as a side note, there is an art gallery, and yes, the Alchemist Angel of Eternic is in it. You're welcome. Much thanks. That's what I need to look at. <laughs> where do I? Where do I find? Let's see how ridiculously. Uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be that posting it soon. Oh, Ragnaros. Um, um, yeah. yeah. If you, if you go into the thank pinned you. messages oh. and VR travelers, yeah. yeah. it's the yeah. second one. It's actually not there. Right? Oh, Oh wait, which one? For the air travelers chat. Oh yeah, it's actually currently in there. That that's that's actually currently in there. We're gonna I'm gonna be putting that in now actually. I have to see how ridiculously so buff it is. Geo. I must Thank know. you so incredibly so much, my friends. Apologies. One more announcement here. I'm going to stand here for five minutes and then open a portal to the rendezvous for our after party, which we usually do. But before that, I'd like to mention that. Please take a moment to talk to Geo during this time and search the document he's talking about. In the past of VR Travelers, we've done many crazy things, including there was the arrival of Dark Sheen, where the entire community joined together in a 50-plus person event where we traveled to a world for a giant interactive boss fight, which was recorded, Whoa. and Geo will provide you the link to. Now, I am the floor is finally yours. That's all. Hold on, can I say something real quick? The link is officially in in the Travelers Chat, the Discord. Please check it out and let me know if everything if everything's working or if you're running into any issues. Alright, allow me to say something real quick. Everyone after me. Praise be the hypercube. Praise be the hypercube. Praise be the hypercube. Praise be the hypercube. Uh, your praise be the hypercube. <laughs> <laughs> Visible confusion. Thank you. I know you. <laughs> Alright, I gotta head out. Good night, everyone. I'm upset at that boss fight, but you know, whatever. Everyone on the VR team, thank you for another later, great. Ricky. Can't get them all. <laughs> Goodbye. This was really, really I want to head out as well. Well, thank you guys again for the amazing tour. Well, the Every one of these so far has been just absolutely incredible. I know blue is yeah, green, thanks, Gene. So, so at least it's not